Hello, I will show you how I make uh, my uh, hot needle etching plates uh, for uh, non-commercial use. This video, would, uh, all you see here is my own technique and uh, how I do this. You do it at your own risk. And this is only, should only be done by experts, by professionals. It's nothing for children. I'm working with dangerous uh, uh, acids and also uh, with current and uh, solvents and fire. Normally the plates are used are uh, zincated iron. This is a, a fire zincated uh, plate and uh, of course you should remove uh, this zinc layer. Other plates which I uh, get from my recycling material are coated uh, with a uh, strong color and of course you have to remove uh, this color and the back side of the plates uh, also should be um, stayed protected and uh, make some uh, area in the middle uh, blank uh, for connected to with uh, the later etching for the connecting to the anode you could cheat the plate and uh, then uh, uh, the the hot plate could be uh, scratched uh, with a spatula which is sharpened to uh, get rid of uh, the color and uh, there underneath is uh, normally a zinc uh, layer which should be removed with uh, dissolved hydrochloric acid to make this outside and uh, wear glasses and gloves and uh, don't inhalate the, the steams there you see the the etching process. From I later use uh, the solvent for protecting my plate because it is zinc chlorate. There you see the evolution uh, steams of the hydrochloric acid, which you should not inhalate. And uh, uh, now uh, the next step, is I show you some toys which I use for scratching or for and for protecting my plates. Um, some liquids, some crayons, some s hot needles. Um, this is a material for protecting the plate. It's uh, colophonium, it's bee wax, it's bitumen, juidico, and I use uh, uh, natural turpentine as a solvent. This is a toys for the hot needle uh, uh, technique. Uh, the needles should be good to be sharpened. You have some scratching knives, or is made by hand from recycled material. There you have some liquids for protecting, some crayons for protecting, and a block, which you can also use for protecting the plate. If you use a block, you should melt the substance together carefully outside. This is fire with. Now I show you the process of uh, uh, coating my plates. The plate is polished iron. I'm putting some uh, amount of uh, the liquid protection mixture of the plate and scratching it out uh, with the pencil and uh, yeah, to get a fine surface. But uh, for me it, it never I uh, results uh, to uh, getting a fine surface uh, using uh, this. So I um, have decided to burn that. Make that with a good extinguisher, fire extinguisher and an exhaustion, steam exhaustion uh, should, uh, should have your uh, kitchen like you see above. Don't inhalate uh, the steams, uh, make it very carefully and uh, you should also wear gloves, <laughs> not like I in this. And, uh, move the plates, uh, so the liquid uh, will form a thin layer, and then uh, comes a moment when uh, the uh, natural turpentine is burning, and uh, so the plate is heated and uh, the substance mixed together. Uh, just close the fire and uh, uh, let the steam uh, go away with your exhaustion. Uh, ventilation. They you see some of these plates. Uh, well, this is a mixture of uh, uh, colophonium, of uh, bee wax and uh, of uh, bitumen judia. And sure I experiment with different amounts and uh, um, I'm uh, 
have this result, a very smooth uh, surface which can now be painted or can now be scratched out. First of all, I'm, I make some painting on paper to uh, to see what what I will will do. This is a part of uh, the illustration of the book I'm writing. And, uh, there you see uh, painting on paper, and at the right side you see it painted uh, with a wax crime, with a white wax crime. Mm -hmm. And such uh, that is scratched out with a needle. And uh, is another example, uh, and uh, uh, you you see the the scratched lines in the, the protecting uh, surface. Who you could now etch it with nitrogen acid. I here use uh, anodic oxidation of the iron. So uh, I have uh, the result. You see uh, the, the, the lines, uh, the shining mm, from the blank uh, metal and um, the protecting surface uh, still stands. And, uh, there you see some um, detailed of the fine etched lines uh, in, the, in the next uh, step uh, you should remove uh, this uh, the protecting surface I don't use a solvent I use, use some uh, sand uh, washing sand uh, and uh, soap and uh, some mild sponge to to, uh, to get uh, rid of my protecting surface. Mm, this is another example. Um, the plate uh, is uh, as now because it's iron it really oxidize uh, rapidly on the air and therefore I uh, protect these uh, plates by galvanizing them with uh, zinc, with zinc chloride. And uh, this uh, protecting layer you can uh, polish it very very uh, brilliant uh, like a mirror you see the uh, light reflects uh, of the plate and um, if it's good polished it, uh, then you have a good contrast from white to black when you print it there you see some details and uh, this is uh, just the plate painted for printing it in high technique it's uh, painted with a roller uh, this is not the standard procedure. Normally you print in low, filling uh, the groves with paint, but you see there that the lines stand. And then you can uh, print the plate in high technique, in high printing technique. That is to say that the protected uh, areas are now printed. There you see some detailed structures. You see that the lines are still uh, staying fine and white. This is uh, another example of a printed uh, hot needle plate in high technique which is normally used only by xylography. Another example for a plate which is printed in high. This plate has uh, some more surfaces which are etched out. They see the details uh, and um, I have a good contrast between the roller printed higher standing parts. And this is uh, the polished plate uh, which I filled now the scratched lines, the etched lines. Uh, they are filled with color and later in the normal technique polished out and uh, ready for printing in low. There you see the plate which now will be printed in low technique. It's lying on the, the, the printing base plate. And there you see another example uh, of a printed plate and uh, a plate which is ready for printing and filled with ink. It's uh, the iron plate which is filled with ink and ready for printing in low technique. And, and, uh, there is the same view of uh, the ship I now print it on paper. Uh, you see some uh, grey tones and this is the result that I have. 
There you see at the, the left side uh, the plate printed in high technique and then electronically converted to negative. If you want to see more, you're invited to visit my homepage. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.